What's up, co-reporters? Welcome back to my channel, Disgraced Teen Mom Next Chapter Star Amber Portwood, aka Kung Fu Portwood, actually has a new boyfriend. There is a new man, either brave enough or stupid enough, to date this woman who has a long, I, I can't even just say reputation, but a long criminal history of getting physical with her man. His name is actually Gary, similar to her first baby daddy, Gary Shirley. And according to Us Weekly, shout out to Us Weekly, by the way, for the inside scoop, Amber met Gary about four months ago on a dating app. And, you know, within four months, as far as I'm aware, she hasn't assaulted him. So it looks like things are starting off pretty well here. Um, now, when it comes to why Amber really likes this guy, apparently he's never watched Teen Mom or anything like that. And this is like the first time that Amber dates someone who isn't a fan of the show. Um, so they're taking their time getting to know each other, according to a source who was speaking to us weekly about the story. And they said that all of the guys Amber has dated before she met on social media and were fans of the show. So we remember Matt, that creepy guy from Boston who had all those kids by all those women that he abandoned. And he lied about the amount of kids that he had to Amber. Then we had Dimitri, the Belge guy, the Belgic, what is it, Belgian, the Belgian guy uh, who worked at the post office and seemed nice enough, but he found Amber through Instagram and they didn't really speak the same language. Like he spoke some English, but um it still was a lot, and he's got all his kids in Belgium, so it didn't make sense why he was chasing after this girl, who at the time was facing serious charges for what she did to Andrew, uh, her second baby daddy, right? Um, and now this guy, apparently he is uh, completely, completely, completely ignorant to Amber's supposed fame and whatnot, and that is something that she's quite excited about. I do have to ask you guys if you believe that or not, because I think people always say this. People, when they start dating famous people, they always claim that they had no idea who the person was, and it's just very rarely true. So for example, right now, there's a big celebrity couple story, and that is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. By the way, when that like couple them first came out, I have to be honest with you guys, I was like, oh, really, another PR relationship or another like fake relationship or a couple month relationship because I just see Taylor as like a butterfly kind of like me where you date someone for a bit then you move on because you're just not feeling it anymore you know so I thought it was one of those things but now it seems like they're still going well but anyway um I've got a point here and the point is that Taylor Swift everybody knows her whether or not you listen to her music you know who she is um meanwhile Travis Kelsey's father is now going on the record claiming that he didn't know who she was he didn't know her name or anything like that Sorry, but I hate when people do this. I think it's such BS. Simone Biles' husband, who low-key hates her and is jealous of her, did the same thing. Sorry, you're an athlete. You know who the hell Simone Biles is. Then it later came out that that man was an avid watcher of women's American gymnastics. And he was talking about women's hair and women's this and women's that. But he doesn't know Simone Biles, the greatest American gymnast, please. So I don't know if I believe that this man didn't know anything about Amber, right? Like, um... He could have Googled her name. He could have done an image search on her, something to find out who she is. But maybe he didn't. Not everybody does that, right? I think maybe us as women, we do this stuff for a safety purpose. And men don't face the same safety concerns that we do. So they wouldn't do something like this. And let's face it, Teen Mom is a dying franchise. Um, Amber was barely even in the last season. She wasn't really making that many headlines. So it very well could be true. Now, uh, the source who spoke to Us Magazine about this relationship claims that this Gary is very much a family man, even though he has no kids of his own, which makes me wonder, is he aware as a family man that his girlfriend is a deadbeat mom? who lost custody of both of her children because she couldn't stop being violent. How much of a family man can you be if that's what you consider to be tolerable and acceptable within a relationship? In my opinion, it's BS, this whole family man thing, right? If you accept this as a partner, it just, it wouldn't make any sense to be honest with you. Now, Amber herself did speak to us about this, not us, me, but us, is an us weekly about this relationship and where she's at in her life. And she said, and I quote, I've worked so hard to better myself and improve my relationships with my children. She says this every year. How true is it? Uh, I'll let you guess. Then she continues on to say, while I've always been candid about my past substance abuse and struggles with mental illness, a person should have the chance to redeem themselves and not be tethered to their problems from the past. True, but how recent is the past? Last week, girl. Um, 
So anyway, that's about all that I've got on this situation. We still don't have an air date, by the way, for the next season of Teen Mom Next Chapter. Um, so I am left wondering, will we see that guy, this guy on the show? And now that he knows that she's this reality star, if they're filming, right? Um, how will that affect his view of her if he looks her up and finds out all of this terrible stuff about her? Like for me as a woman, if I'm looking up a man that I'm dating and I find out that he lost... Or he tells me, then we're like getting to know each other. He tells me he lost custody of both of his kids. I'd be out of there. Um, if he had custody of both of his kids, I'd be out of there too. <laughs> but if he told me that, um, losing custody is worse. Uh, but if he told me that, and then on top of that, I find out that he was, you know, kung fu karate chopping these people. One of them allegedly with a machete attempting to, um, allegedly. I wouldn't move forward. It just wouldn't make sense for me. I would be too terrified, you know, like imagine this person the, who, who, who's who got like this kind of trigger finger with like machetes, you know, you're trying to cut a sandwich or maybe they're trying to cut you a sandwich and like, you got to like stand back in the corner of the room until they finish and then put away the knife or something like that. Who wants to live like that? It doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry, but anybody in my opinion who dates Amber Portwood, who dates Janelle Evans, who dates these train wreck people, Kale Lowry as well, sorry. Um, they're not, they're not, they're not right in the head. Okay. It just truly does not make sense, especially if they themselves do not have a criminal record. And if they themselves do not have children, it doesn't make any sense. And so with that being said, I am keeping an eye on Gary 2.0. Uh, hopefully he gets featured in the next season of Teen Mom next chapter, because listen, we're going to find out what exactly is wrong with him that he is attracted to this woman at the end of the day. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this. Uh, this is quite a random story. I wasn't expecting to hear about Amber Portwood having a new boyfriend. In fact, I haven't thought about Amber Portwood in such a long time because it's been a long time since Teen Mom Next Chapter was even on the air. And even still, how many episodes did Amber Portwood even pop up in? I think she showed up in a total of maybe two, perhaps three, three episodes throughout the entire season. So it's not like she's all that relevant. Um, and like in the past, she used to go on these Instagram lives constantly or these rants on her timeline and just like act all kind of, you know, mm, Nicki Minaj like <laughs> since his dropped. Um, and that was Amber like every day, you know what I mean? So like with her not doing that and her barely showing up in the last season, I'm not really thinking about her. So this story truly is coming out of left field for me, but I digress as usual, guys, I do want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.